And so we have some news with Epcal I want to cover. And, of course, we all know Epcal, this beautiful place uh, in the Pine Barrens out in Riverhead. And uh, we know that it is still uh, we still have to worry about development here, unfortunately. So uh, let's get a couple of articles here. There's going to be now a public forum on May 3rd at Hotel Indigo, Riverhead. Uh, the, this is from the Riverhead Industrial Development Agency. It's buyer and Epcal land deal will present plans at public forum. And, of course, this here, if we go and we click on this here, this is uh, the plan here that uh, let's can't really make it any larger in this uh, image here, but you'll see a lot of these woods would be cut down for huge warehouses uh, and uh, it would be it would be absolutely devastating to the environment. All right, so let's uh, read this article here. It says, Representative of, of Calvaton Aviation and Technology will present their current plans for a proposed development in the Calvaton Ep- Enterprise Park at a public forum on Wednesday, May 3rd, from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at the Hotel in the Go and Riverhead. Of course, because of those times, I can't go. If it was earlier, I would, but at those times, I'd be stranded out there. They stopped the buses early. Uh, The Riverhead Industrial Development Agency announced the forum in a press release Thursday night. This informal forum is intended to provide an opportunity for the CAT team to update Riverhead residents on their vision for the proposed project at EPCAL while the agency continues its due diligence on the IDA application made by the town of Riverhead uh, and CAT. Uh, And they call this project the Calvertin Aviation and Technology Innovation Hub. Uh, According to the ambitious plans, Unveiled publicly for the first time at the September 21st Riverhead IDA meeting, plans to ultimately develop in phases more than 8.4 million square feet of logistics and distribution buildings situated along two runways, which are included in the sale. It also plans to build 400,000 square feet of non-warehouse uses in three smaller buildings. Plans also call for building 8,640 parking spaces in two two two-level structures and another 3,600 3,500 spaces of surface parking. So they're literally trying to build a city in the Pine Barrens. It's unbelievable how this is even inconscionable, how anyone could even think about this. Ultimately, according to the documents filed with the Riverhead IDA, CAT will develop 10 million square feet of industrial and commercial buildings at the site. All right, and these are some, and they have, uh, they actually have a video here. It says, watch, which from the town of Riverhead. Uh, oh, they actually have a video of this. Okay, well, I don't have time to go over it now, but um, we may have to go over this again as they unveil their plans. It's it's absolutely devastating. All right, so these are some of the insets here that they would do, uh, and you know they're going to be cutting down the woods. Look at all this. They all the trees are gone, and they're actually trying to make it. Look at this. They're trying to make a cargo uh, uh, a cargo hub here in the middle of the Pine Barrens. It's it's uh, it's unbelievable and it's disgusting. It, it really is. Uh, it really is, and it's just showing you all. The diagrams that I've showed you before about this, uh, you know, it's just horrible uh, that they would even consider uh, this. Uh, and, but, you know, when we've lost so much already on Long Island, it's just this is a pivotal turning point. If this gets approved, and I, I think it shows that people really don't care about the Pine Barrens. Uh, and there's another article here about EPCAL, industrial development, especially warehouses. And EPCAL plans are on residents' minds at works, workshop with planners Saturday morning. So uh, there was a public workshop at Riverhead. Uh, it was about the comprehensive plan. So they were talking about basically uh, various things here. And people are upset. Stop the warehouses. You know, people don't want warehouses anymore. Uh, you know, um, it, it's it, it, it's just getting it's getting industrialized, you know. Um, so, you know, and people need to do things. Uh you know, it's it's unbelievable. How can you do a plan for the next 10 to 30, 20 years and saying we don't have to really focus on what's potentially going to happen inside the fence? All right. 10 million square feet of warehouse space would be one of the largest in the world. Largest in the world in the Long Island Pine Barrens. Referring to the most recent development plans presented by Calvertin Aviation and Technology, which is in contract to buy nearly all of the remaining vacant town-owned land at the Calvertin Enterprise Park. And again, where's Governor Hochul? If I was the governor, I'd step in and say, you can't do this. Where is she? No, she don't do nothing. You know, if this tried to do this in New Jersey, you know the state would stop it. They would kill it right away. According to National Traffic Safety Statistics, we can expect 35,000 daily truck trips from this facility. 
So basically, this gets done. It's over for uh, the Pine Barrens. It's over. Uh, today's meeting was attended by, of course, Supervisor Yvette Agra and all four council members. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's just terrible. It really is. And to think all of this beauty could be gone, destroyed, uh, because of greed. Uh, it's, it's inconscionable. It really is. I mean, I can't fathom this happening. Uh, how, 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 I feel like I want to throw up just talking about it. I really do. I mean, look at this beautiful place. Let's leave it undisturbed. Haven't we destroyed enough on Long Island? You know, uh, you know, you know, this gets built. Uh, it's, it's never going to be the same out east. You know, it really will. Even if I can get to live on the South Shore, you know, I'm probably going to wind up going to New Jersey most of the time uh, to go to the Pine Barrens, which is going to suck because they destroyed ours. So, again, people in the Pine Barrens, you know, you're pine, uh, we're going to just go to who to contact here uh, right now, pb.stateny.us. It's the Central Pine Barrens Joint Policy and Planning Commission. This is the organization that could stop this all right uh and uh they are at 624 old riverhead road in west hampton beach and they have an office phone number of 631-288-1079 and an email address of info at pb.state.ny.us and how could they allow this to happen because if they allow this to happen you know what it means, right? It means that this, this organization is basically a fraud. They don't look out for the Pine Barrens if they allow this to happen. This is the worst project to ever be proposed in the Pine Barrens in the history of the Long Island Pine Barrens. Uh, and it needs to be stopped. And we need to do whatever it takes to stop it. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching.